Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome to my beauty stash. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. You know the drill. Before we begin, make sure you click on that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you never miss one of my video uploads. Today we are talking all about Catrice Cosmetics. I have almost enough items here in front of me to do a full face of Catrice. I have the new Instabay eyeshadow palette. I have the new Luminizing Bronzer. This is a Sungasm Bronzer. I also have the Coordinating Highlighter. This is a face and body highlighter, as well as some other things that we are going to be trying out today. I got this look right here using a majority of Catrice cosmetics. Now before we jump into the application portion of today's video I want to insert some swatches that I did of the new products I'll be trying out today in natural light so that you can see what they are going to look like on a fair to light skin tone. I was kissing you with my eyes open but you said you said keep them closed and be in the moment. So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted. But what about what? As always, guys, I will have links to all of the products I'm using in today's video in the description box down below in case you are interested in shopping any of the new items. I picked up a majority of the things from UltaBeauty.com. So, guys, if you want to see how I got this look right here, all Catrice Cosmetics, keep on watching. I was kissing you with my eyes open But you said, you said, keep them closed and be in the moment So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted But what about what I want? What about what I want? And what I wanted was to crash with my dumb friends on the weekend Instead of watching a movie But you wanted me to be what you need instead of Okay. 
guys, what do you think of this full face of Catrice Cosmetics? I think it came out really, really nice. I enjoyed working with all of the products. Let's start first with the bronzer because that was the first new item um, that I went in with. This is the Sungasm Luminizing Bronzer. And that is what it looks like. Really, really pretty in the pan there. Really, really nice. Let me just swatch it indoors so that you can see what it's going to look like. So that is it swatched there. I don't think it's as illuminating as I was expecting it to be. So that's a good thing. And I do want to say that this leans maybe a little bit more to like a reddish tone bronzer, which is fine because I don't have a lot of reddish tone bronzers in my collection. I do think that if you have a deeper skin tone, like a really deep skin tone, I don't think this is going to be definitely not a bronzer for you. Maybe it'll be a nice pretty blush for you. Um, but if you have more on the fair to medium, maybe even getting into the darker shade range, I do think this is something that you might enjoy using. Next from the Sungasm collection, I picked up the face and body highlighter and look at that. Oh, this is like huge guys and this is because it is for the body too. That way you can dip your body brushes which tend to be larger in this pan. I thought this was a really pretty highlighter. It just gives a nice glow to the skin. It's not overpowering where you're going to be blinding everybody but it's not subtle either. It's just like the perfect amount of highlighter and glow to the skin. So I really did enjoy using this one. Next I have the Instabay eyeshadow palette right here. This was a very very pretty palette to work with. You do get 12 shades in here, mattes and shimmers. Very, very nice. The second Catrice eyeshadow palette that I have, the first one was from um, last year. It was the Catrice by Iman collaboration, which goes with the blush palette that I use. Not too sure if that is still available, but if it is, it will be linked in the description box down below. This performed just as well. I love that eyeshadow palette and I love this one too. Really, really pretty neutral palette. Definitely something you'd want to pick up if you're looking to update your neutral palette wardrobe. Somebody asked me if this was a dupe maybe for the new Natasha Denona bronze palette that was released. So let me go ahead and insert some swatch photos so that you can compare the two side by side. The Instabay eyeshadow palette retails for $15 on Ulta's website versus the $65 that the Natasha Denona bronze palette is. I think that if you like the tones that are in the bronze palette, you can get some of them. Definitely not the formula and definitely not some of those shimmers, but you can create similar looks using this new Instabay eyeshadow palette from Catrice Cosmetics. It's going to be up to you guys. Um, you saw the swatch photos there. You can kind of see there are some similarities, of course, and then of course there are some major differences. It's going to be up to you what fits in better with your budget and what you feel your preference is. Last but not least, we have the BB Cream. This is the Catrice Cosmetics Clean ID Hydro BB cream. It says that this is made with 99% natural ingredients and that it is vegan. Now I got the shade light warm and I'm going to warn you guys the shade range in here is pretty much non-existent. I believe there's only four or five shades available on the Ulta Beauty website. So that's definitely something that we don't like. That's definitely something that Catrice Cosmetics needs to work on. So let me read you what it says here on this BB cream. It says ultra hydrating tinted beauty balm with shea butter for a radiant natural complexion. The skin loving texture diffuses the appearance of little imperfections for that. And we have a typo here. <laughs> I don't know if the camera can catch it, but instead of it saying myself, it says my elf. <laughs> Better feeling. And it does say that this is good for 12 months after opening. For being a BB cream, I was able to build it up in the areas where I wanted more coverage, and I thought it looked really nice. It has a really nice skin-like feeling. So I do agree that it does blur out some of the imperfections. While it totally does not cover them, you can always use your concealer to spot conceal certain areas, but I thought this was nice for every day, especially now in the summer. We don't want a lot of heavy makeup on our face. And if you're looking to purchase a vegan foundation, I would definitely give this one a shot. This retails for $10 on the Ulta Beauty website.
So guys, that was my full face of Catrice Cosmetics. What did you think about the products that I tried out, especially the new ones? Are you planning to pick up some of these new ones? I have to say that I thoroughly enjoyed using all four of the new products that I picked up. The eyeshadow palette, the bronzer, the highlighter, and the BB cream. These are definitely going to be placed in rotation here in my beauty stash because I am really a big fan of Catrice Cosmetics and I think that all the products that they recently released are pretty good. They're worth checking out. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink your water, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!